Here's my two cents review on Inside Lulu and Davis, the Coen Brothers movie. Uh, right off the bat, what I liked about this film, uh, the, finny, the fitting irony of this film, the portrayal of a talented artist who can't find his way because he's lost his partner. And it's almost like the Coen Brothers one day asked each other, what would happen if either of them died? And would they also be lost souls like Lou and Davis because he lost his partner and he's lost soul? And I think that was the initial setup to make this movie for these guys. It was like, let's make a movie about what would happen if either of us wasn't around. Would we be the brilliant filmmakers that we, we are today? And that's the film. No matter how much talent and drive you have, you need someone by your side to trust and love you. You need to get you need to get that confidence from somebody else to take chances and you know that they are by your side no matter what. So you're able to like move up or move sideways or move down even no matter what because you have someone who loves them uh, by, by, by your side. Luland Davis is a lost soul. He's alive but he's lost a part of himself when his partner committed suicide. And he'll never get it back, and that's what this movie is about. It's a sad story for anybody who attempts a career in the arts because whether you're a writer, a painter, a filmmaker, you need someone there for you besides you along the way. We can never do it alone. Uh, the last scene of Lulin alone in the alley uh, outside a performance bar as a very talented artist, we assume is Bob Dylan, plays in the background. It's, it's a heartbreaking moment because it's a heartbreaking movie. It's a sad movie. It's another one of those talented artists who no one will ever know about. There's like hundreds, there's thousands of these people, people who are probably even listening to this right now, who are very, very talented, but they don't, they've lost their way. They've lost uh, a bit of part of themselves and nobody will ever know who they are. And that's what this movie is about. Uh, this is the, this is a tragic movie. Lulin can't work with somebody else and he can't work with himself. So therefore he's lost and it only takes a truly brilliant person or somebody who is 90 years old to look back at their life and go, oh, that's what happened with me. I couldn't do either way. I was lost. It's it's impossible for anybody like Lulin to really understand who he is because he is himself. He's too, too far inside of himself, and that's what happens. So he's born to fail because he can't step outside of himself. Uh, what I loved about this film, there's all kinds of discussions after I watched this movie in the matinee theater all kinds of rumbling and talking about people about what the, what their what their feelings are what they think the movie was about and that's what this that's what movies are for me personally they are expression of our lives which lead us to pondering about the world in general and our lives in general ourselves this film succeeds on that level and i love the coen brothers they keep moving forward as filmmakers they always tell stories that stand the test of time their body of work is exceptional perhaps the best they, they're probably the best filmmaking well they're the best filmmaking team of all time perhaps they're the best filmmakers of all time because their movies keep getting better and better the more you watch them that's my two cents